Hello everyone, it's Calvary 32 Special. Welcome back to the channel. Appreciate you stopping by. Today I want to do a quick review on, this is a just initial review, on a new holster that I received from Craft Holster. You know, thank you, you know, to Craft for sending this out. This is an open top inside the waistband designed for SIG P365. And yes, no magazine in it, nothing in the chamber, it is clear. Being an open top, it does not have a retention strap, but it does squeeze the gun a little bit, so it it does retain. You know, so it the gun doesn't fall out, which is really, really nice. Um, the link for this holster will be in the description below. It is really nicely made. Uh, nice thick leather. It's got a reinforcing around the top that holds it open. So if you have to draw for some reason, um, you're doing, you know, you're taking it out to clear it or whatever, and you decide to put it back in. It stays open inside your belt. The um, one thing you're going to notice, and this is not a, a dig on craft, it is a characteristic of leather holsters in general. Uh, you will notice a slight change in the material as weather changes, temperature, humidity, even you know wearing it you're going to notice as it warms up the leather is going to relax slightly. When the you know, holster is cold and you go to insert the firearm, now it's this holster, the gun has been in this holster recently, so it doesn't do it right now. If, but if the gun has not been in the holster recently, it, you will notice to try to push the slide back ever so slightly. You know, sixteenth of an inch, maybe less. So if the gun goes in the hol stays in the holster all the time, that's not going to be an issue because the holster is going to be, you know, slightly enlarged, not not stretched, but that's where it's just going to be form fitted around the firearm. If you take it off, you use a different holster for a while and then go to back, you'll notice as you push it in that you know, that'll happen. Just give it a minute or two, it'll relax back out and it'll fit just fine again. I have had one issue with this holster. Um, the snaps here, I went to uh, pull my jeans back up after having, you know, after putting the holster on and I had the snaps popped and the gun in the holster fell didn't no damage but I was it was something I was I had questions about so I contacted Kraft their suggestion you know they do send the holster with an Allen key because you actually you know there's uh, in the snaps there is a Allen head screw because you can adjust this you know, these are both at their highest point you can adjust them down lower so it actually makes the gun ride higher on you if you wanted to suggestion that Kraft had was to take the Allen and tighten the screw here in the snap and they say that should help to make that retention a little bit stronger um, so as you can see, I am tightening them up as, about as tight as, yeah, because that one was actually fairly loose. Okay, that's about as tight as I feel comfortable tightening it. So, I'm going to, you know, carry this for a while longer, see what kind of changes that gives me. And, oh, well, unintended con consequence of that. Tightening it up, now this doesn't want to pivot anymore, which they use to pivot freely. So I may have to loosen it back up, get it where I want it, and then tighten it back up again. Um, it, you know, Craft Holsters told me that by tightening that, it will help the retention of these snaps. So I'm going to try it. You know, it might just be as simple as that was too loose. We'll find out. Uh, if this is a concern for you, cr you know, through Craft Holsters, you can also get a slightly different version. Um, of this description for it will also be oh, sorry link for it will also be in the description below and 
you know, you can try that one as well. I actually have that one coming as well, so I can do, you know, so I can review it and I'll get back to you. That being said, so I have to watch that the snaps don't come undone. Something to think about, but for me personally, not necessarily a deal breaker, especially if tightening that screw helps. Uh, the advantage of having the snap style is you don't have to take the belt completely out of the loops to put this on. Uh, versus, I actually have one of Kraft's other holsters on at the moment for my you know, shield, and it has the slides. So I have to take the belt all the way. I have to take the belt off to slide this on and then you know, put it back to the belt loops. So there is an advantage to this design. Um, so that's just kind of a initial, I've carried a little bit, a few thoughts, and some input from Kraft themselves. I'll come back to you guys with an additional video on this and my thoughts then. And I'll let you know if this made a difference. If not, I'll reach out to Kraft again and see if there isn't anything else that can be done. The holsters overall have been really, uh, all the whole craft holsters I've had now have been well made. I have had good customer service from craft. I honestly believe that the you know what, this issue is a fluke. It very well could be an issue with this particular holster, but may not happen. Even the same model with different snaps. Um, if anyone in, has experience with this happening for theirs, please put it in your com you know, Please keep it clean, but put it in a comment below to help educate me and others watching the video. I very much appreciate that. Alright everyone, appreciate everyone stopping by. Have a wonderful day.